And I call the member for Braddon. Yesterday I had the pleasure of attending the naming ceremony of Toll's new Australian flagged and Australian crewed vessel, the Tasmania Achiever II. It's Australia's biggest cargo ship together with the new Victorian Reliance II will increase the freight task on Bass Strait by 40 per cent at a cost of the company of $300 million, a wonderful investment. It is one of 12 ships, Australian crewed and Australian flagged ships, left in Australia. And what do we see on these ships? local jobs for people in my electorate. But I was joined yesterday by the Prime Minister, and I felt a level of hypocrisy. Why is that? Because this government is responsible for the sacking of hundreds of seafaring jobs in this country. 80 workers recently sacked by BHP, thank you to the Prime Minister, on the Mary Lula and the Lowlands brilliance. And I met Jimmy last year. He's been at sea for 15 years, 10 of those on the Mary Lula, and he is now unemployed, replaced by foreign crews. I call on the government, I call on the Prime Minister to support what I've been saying, and that is to protect the Bass Strait from his destructive agenda, and also join with the Labor to investigate a strategic fleet of Australian flagged and cruise ships to protect our national interests. And if he does not do so, that is bad for business. It is bad for the exporters from Tasmania. It is bad for local jobs in my electorate and across this country. Although seafaring families that rely on these jobs.